Which is God our deliverer, God our Savior. He's seated on the heights and the priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go.
an evangelist in Kanoite. Yes. I'm not saying that God just be happy because you are going to help people to lead people to Christ and they will follow you. Yes. They will follow you.
What God wants you to go and do. Just go. Teach. Teach. Lay hands on the sick and they will come. Go. Teach. Teach.
That's why the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. They that love shall eat the fruit there. Begin to declare yourself to yourself. Speak to yourself. <laughs> the word of God is forever settled in heaven and therefore established his word upon this earth. I mean these scriptures personally, they totally changed my makeup. Renewed my life. basic gift that is for every believer. Anyone who's born again, he has a right to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's not a special gift to speak in tongues. It's a gift that is given to anyone who's a child of God. So we need to be able to do it. And many of us as pastors, let's not wait too long, even you leader, everyone. When you lead someone to Christ, it's, you can ask them, ask, begin to pray for them to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The reason why we have weak churches, we have weak people Christians, is because people are not being filled. They are not filled with If you are filled and you are now dry, you need to be refilled with the Holy Spirit. You need to actually continuously, the Bible says that continuously be filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't get dry where you actually maybe you last spoke in time some, some year or two or three ago. And you are now as dry as a, a bone. Begin to, to say, God help me. And we will pray for you. You can be filled and begin to overflow and the joy of the Lord will be your portion. Yeah. And things can begin to flow. So when, you cannot do the work of God when you're dry. The work of God is done by the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord bless you.